The word anaphylaxis, derived from the Greek, ana, meaning against, and phylaxis meaning protection, against the foreign material in contrast. The highly sensitive reaction or hypersensitivity reaction caused by the body is called anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is a severe, potentially life-threatening allergic reaction. It can occur within seconds or minutes of exposure to something you're allergic to, such as peanuts, or even bee stings, and also certain drugs and medicines. To understand the pathomechanism of anaphylaxis, we need to understand hypersensitivity, since anaphylaxis is form of hypersensitivity reaction. There are four types, first IgE-mediated hypersensitivity reaction, second antibody-mediated, next immune complex-mediated reaction, and lastly cell-mediated hypersensitivity. The first three types are considered immediate hypersensitivity reactions because they occur within 24 hours. The fourth type is considered a delayed hypersensitivity reaction because it usually occurs more than 12 hours after exposure to the allergen. Now, type 1 reactions are mediated by proteins called IgE antibodies produced by the immune system. On first exposure the inhaled allergen enters the mucous membranes lining the nasal passages, where it is taken up by the antigen-presenting cell which presents it to the T-cells. These T-cells activate the B-cells to release substances called IgE antibodies against the allergen. These IgE antibodies sit on the surface of the mast cells. The mast cells have granules, containing chemical mediators like histamine and prostaglandin at center. On exposure to the allergen binds to the IgE antibodies present on the mast cells, cross-linking them, this results in the release of histamine, prostaglandin, and other mediators into the surrounding tissue. These mediators cause dilation of the surrounding blood vessels and increase their permeability, this results in the nasal stuffiness sneezing and mucus discharge of allergic rhinitis. The antihistamines work by blocking the action of histamines at its receptors and thus decreasing the body's reaction to the allergen. Anaphylaxis is caused by massive release of biochemical mediators from mast cells and basophils. Histamine has long been considered the principal mediator of anaphylaxis, and concentrations of histamine correlate with symptom severity. Histamine acts on receptors to cause vasodilation and increased permeability, bronchoconstriction, and increased mucus secretion. Platelet activating factor, or PAF, has been increasingly recognized as important in the pathophysiology of anaphylaxis. PAF levels in the serum directly correlates with the severity of anaphylaxis symptoms. In addition to activating platelets, PAF causes vasodilation, increased vascular permeability, decreased myocardial contractility, bronchoconstriction, and initiates allergic response through stimulation of other mediators. Anaphylaxis is the most severe form of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction and is a medical emergency because it can lead to a sudden, life-threatening respiratory failure and even death. In the next video, we will discuss the clinical presentation of anaphylactic shock in the emergency room, along with initial assessment and management. Thank you for watching and do not forget to give us a thumbs up, thank you.